This is hot, Ray. Symmetrical book stacking. Now stay close. Stay close. I know. Do exactly as I say. Get ready. Ready? Get her! <laughs> Hey, buddy, watch this. Okay, uh, this looks like a really good opener. We got some nice tempo here out of our two drops. We got some Librem support. Those books are wobbling in the golden card. I love it. That's really good detail. <coughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Hand of a doll size and Aldor Truthseeker. Let's go, man. I love how her books are like, oh. That's basically me holding pizza boxes instead of books. You cannot stop my Ooh, imprisoned Ganarg. I'm still not in love with this card, chat. I'm going to be honest with you. Still not in love. Chatbot! I'm going to really confuse our opponent here. Like, what are they doing? Some debate whether flames are elementals or demons, but I, I kind of remember them being elementals as well, and I feel like that just makes more sense as well, too. So, Xavius different than Illidan confirmed. Why aren't you playing Demon Hunter? We just did for an hour and a half. We're gonna try other new things too. Not everybody wants to just play Demon Hunter, right? Okay. It is actually a Fireworks, by the way, which is funny. It wasn't clear if that was gonna be the case. But indeed it is. Skyclaw here, uh... I mean, it buffs this, which is cool, but doesn't really help much. Um, I think we just play Bronze. Not a great turn four because Fairy Dragon can't be buffed, so I think we just play for later, right? Do not play for longer term value here. Would love to hit a book though. Ooh, Cargath! All right, that's exciting to see. Okay, I dig the Cargath. That's awesome. Aldor, I think I like Hero Power book better or Hero Power hand better, just to help me draw through the deck a little faster. Hey, you want a bear? It's going good, man. Crazy viewership, really fun. We've had so many new followers today. Oh my god, like a thousand already, I think. Okay, I love Rusty Grader. I think this card is underrated. Maybe I don't know. I don't actually know what people rated it, so maybe it's appropriately rated. But I think it feels pretty good. This is going to be a sick turn six. This guy actually trades okay into the board. But yeah, an eight eight divine shield that heals eight for six mana is. Pretty sick. That's a good play. Not a, not like an absolutely amazing play for the record. Not a broken play, but it feels good. Feels good. I think. How does Demon Hunter feel? Very strong. Demon Hunter feels really, really good. Okay, Crusader can help later. Full health again, big old minion. The one attacks here do contest this pretty well. Oh, I love the artwork on that dude. Oh, he looks cool as crap. Oh my God. Oh, I love this deck already, guys. I don't know if it's any good at all, but I love it. I mean, that's a big play, chat. That's hard to deal with, man. That's better than a Tyrion on board. I mean, no weapon, of course, but better than the Tyrion uh, weapon, at least. I don't think we go for Lady Liadrin yet, but it's probably not terrible for the record. I don't think it's a terrible decision if we did. God, that animation's so cool! Page flipping. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's just a 7-7. Seven, seven. Let's go. Whatever's on the top of the deck is probably always better than whatever's in my hand. Oh my god. That's actually a really good result, I think. A lot of value generation. Another Librem Synergy card. 7-7 seven, seven on board. Cheap stuff so I can play it so I don't burn more cards in the future. That's great. It'd be funny if we burn Murder McGurgle. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Oh, I hope we do almost, just because it'd be so funny. Okay, kings instead. All right, whatever. Whatever. I think we just start uh, dumping some cards here and see what happens. Oh my god. We might need some flexibility in, in, in a pinch healing and stuff. I think I have to take this. I think we need the flexibility instead, chat. I cannot wait to read these. I cannot wait to read these. I think we kill the big guys as opposed to this guy, right? Because this guy can first off lose his attack value over time, but also he's not like evolvable or mech 
Although Magnetic's not around, so Max may not be a particularly big problem. Uh, how come you can play Demon Hunter? Uh, we're doing a theory crafting stream. Blizzard gave like 16 streamers uh, early access to the new expansion. So you'll see a lot of us playing new stuff. Okay. Oh, that's a good victory. Yeah, that's a big minion left. And we got McGurgle shuffled in. We got a Labrum of Wisdom back in hand. It goes to zero. We got to be careful in these Labrums, though. We don't want to put too many of them, I think, in the pool for Leodrin. I think it could be problematic if we do that. That said, we also just kind of need to create pressure, so. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out some like lethal math on Lady Leodrin at some point, maybe, because she has um, quite a few buffs in her. And, and at least two of them now are going to be zero mana uh, Librams. And she has that big guy now for five mana as well, potentially. But we have to empty the hand first, right? We need the hand to go empty before we do that. Brawl's a one and four here. I thought adding these other minions in would actually help us a little bit, but it, it seems it hurt us. I'm a little sad about that. Oh, she says I challenge you to Makara. That's awesome. Ooh. I don't know about this, actually. This is... Kind of iffy, but oh, I love the art on this so much. I'm so glad they didn't just make it Hammer of Justice chat. I'm so glad that it's a book hammer. The, ha the hammer is a book. <laughs> it's two books just stapled onto a pole. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, I didn't finish that thought. I thought that playing the small minions might help protect that against the new removal card, the... um. Uh, Blade Storm, I guess it's called, right? Thought we might be better off to have um, multiple small minions on board to protect it against the new guy, but clearly that didn't pan out for us. Okay. Um, no, I think I'd rather just stall it out with Aldor. That's fine. Let's just stall it out with Aldor. Overdue. Oh my god, it's a library pun! It's, I didn't even see that. It's a library pun. Oh my god, the book is overdue, chat. Oh, that's actually amazing. That's so amazing. Oh my god, who even knew? Wow. Overdue justice. Oh my god, that's even better. Wow, man. This place is scary. That is something else, chat. So our hand may look empty, but Leodrin's gonna fill it up. We've played like four books of job, the wisdom or whatever. Okay. We would like to get one more hand, a uh, uh, big uh, Librum of Hope, I think. But we'll figure it out. <clears throat> I think we should outvalue this deck though, right? We're even in fatigue and he's really, really light on cards. And we're not gonna be light on cards. We're gonna have a ton of cards. Although that's pretty nasty. That's a big... Big old girl. To get an 8-8 eight eight there is really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to take one more turn before we Leodrin here. So, honestly, this is... Yeah, we're going to face tank 8. Are we going to give Blessing and Wisdom to this guy so that it can uh, draw? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't actually want to draw, but... It's oh okay. That's pretty sweet. Do I ever play that in Aldor Attendant instead of the heal right now? Um yes, I do, right? Similar amounts of attack, but it removes two cards from hand, and I get the discount on Leadrin, so yeah, we do. The one challenge is I can play one of those with Leadrin next turn anyway, so is is it the same difference, right? Scrap Golem, not a big problem. We're just gonna push through all this stuff. He can hit our uh Peacekeeper, which he might think is good, but we don't actually want to draw more cards. We're thinking about fatigue and emptying our hand anyway, so it's actually kind of good to not have to deal with that. Lightforge Zealot is awkward from a mana standpoint. Maybe we take one more turn, chat. Yeah, let's take one more turn. Take kind of a bad trade here to protect the Divine Shield. I, I think the Divine Shield has a lot of value, basically. Looking good, looking good. So Leodrin's ready to fill the hand. Um, hopefully I draw a, a fairly low cost card. 
Uh, if I have enough minions on board, I might be able to hit him for like 20, which is why I want to protect the Divine Shield. Not, not 20 off one minion, but 20 total. That did not preserve the Divine Shield, unfortunately, so he's probably going to clear most of this stuff. Not everything, it looks like, but... I just want a minion on board to attack so that when I play Leodrin, I can use all of those um, Librum of Wisdoms, right, on the minion to attack for a big value. I want it to attack for like, you know, 10, 15, or whatever. I think that's the right decision to leave up this guy, because you don't actually want this to die. You don't want to give me more Murgurgle Primes. Do we ever hit this with our face? I guess we do. Tyrion's funny. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna hit him for like 10 here or something insane. I don't know what. Just some ridiculous amount. <laughs> it is exactly 10, okay. I don't, I don't know if I want this, because we gotta worry about fatigue. I don't even really want to play the hand of it all. I just want the buff, mostly. <laughs> oh my god, if you can play Leodrin ahead with a minion on board ready to attack, that's so cra- <laughs> It's so crazy good. Oh my god. Did Trump sleep through the theory crafting? No, he just got on, maybe. Oh, I see him now. Uh, maybe he wasn't on earlier. Maybe he is. I don't know. I thought Trump would have stolen some of my viewers more than that. Oh, he just started. Okay. <laughs> He's only two hours late. <laughs> the man's night. He's a madman. He, you know, we can't even begin to imagine what Trump is doing up all night, you know? I think we need a faster start than this, chat. I think although this is like our combo, it's just too slow. But yeah, I mean, of course Trump started two hours late. He's He's making moves, man. Trump is out there making moves late at night. I the, the the kinds of things Trump gets up to, I don't even know. Can't even guess. He's got some some friends, you know. Wow! Imprisoned vile fiend on turn one. There are so many of these imprisoned minions that I feel like are only gonna be good on turn one when played. This being one of them, I don't even know if this is good on turn two necessarily. Um, uh, the, the fireworks card, as you saw last game, it's so bad when you play it late. It just doesn't matter at all. It takes forever to get your fireworks and you're like, oh my God. Just such a dead, um, such a dead hit. Are you a full-time streamer? Oh, content creator. Yeah. Between YouTube and streaming. Okay. That is a pretty good way to contest my divine shield, unfortunately. Murgurgle. They named a card Murger McGurgle, chat. I just want you guys to recognize that. <laughs> I just want you to know that. Renew, okay. Discovering a lot of spells and stuff right now. I wonder what this was. If it's like a Librum or something, it may not offer really much value. It's just gonna be high cost and stuff. Da, 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 da. Uh, hey, Care4, uh, can you type in chat? You gotta type in chat so I can click your name. I can't access your name otherwise. I don't know how to do it. I mean, it sounds insane. Maybe I can if I do it this way, actually. Hold up. Also, if you guys don't mind, I, I could turn it off and I didn't think about it, but try not to redeem too much stuff today. I don't want to be distracted. Like, you know, there's 2,000 people who don't necessarily want to wait on, on me to do stuff like this. So it's certainly no hate. It's not your fault, but... Uh, Oh, there's care for perfect. Okay, thank you. Mm. I, I should actually turn the redemptions off, but I don't know how to do that on the fly. Mm, should be done though. You should be good to go. Let me see if I can do that real quick while we're in the middle of a turn here. Kalinto's gonna get mad at us though. Um. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can figure that out real fast, just so that we don't have any problems moving forward. I'm just going to turn off all things. You are the prisoner Ooh, mindful your garage making the cut already. That's actually a pretty good. I feel like that's a pretty good option. Get the shuffle later and stuff. That feels nice to me. Um yeah, this is our This is the right choice here. 
Okay. Um. Twitch has the weirdest settings and hard to find stuff. It's really, really, really bad. I don't, I just, I can't find the spot to do this. Like, it's so insane how much they make it hard to find things. I must consider. There we go. Okay, chat. I've turned off rewards for now. You got to remind me to turn these back on later. Like tomorrow and stuff. Just for today. Just for today. Just save it up for next time. Guys, there's no giveaway. Stop doing that. There's no giveaway. That, that's not real. Somebody trolled you guys. You all got trolled. Okay. Good answer that or deny the stats on that. I mean, Power Infusion, shockingly annoying there, I'd say. It felt really good and hard to deal with. Hard to deal with. Okay. War buffs. He got a blessing of kings off us. That's actually pretty legit in a deck that already seems to care about buffs a lot. That that's really annoying. I need a Libram, or this will suffice for now, I guess. Um we go ahead and hit here or not. It's uh I don't think yet. We don't know what's gonna happen to that, so may not actually help us kill it at all next turn. We don't know the breakpoints, right? This is good to refill the hand, but it's not necessarily good on board right now. The good thing is we don't have to worry about Divine Spirit. There's no Divine Spirit that's going to hit us here to, to kill us, so. I think we're kind of safe-ish, at least. Kalinto. Hey, we are higher rank than Kalinto, chat. Everybody. Hey, first, there's a first for everything in life, chat. Everybody give us a round of applause. It's all on you guys. I didn't do it. A higher rank than Kalinto. First time ever. <laughs> first time in my life. I'm going to put that, you know, most streamers list like accolades below their Twitch uh, stream and stuff. Like, you know, oh, first place in some tournament or whatever. Uh, this is my only accolade. Higher rank than Kalinto in a, in a fake... <laughs> In a fake rank ladder for four minutes. <laughs> that's it. That's that's our whole claim to fame, chat. Uh, we did it. Good job, team. Clap, clap, everybody. Shadow Madness? No, that's so good. Uh, the good news is... Didn't create a ton of pressure, so I think we're safe to play the Light Forge Crusader here. Just get some some options and some stats down, right? Um, yeah, I don't love this this set of cards. I mean, Consecration could be really good for us if we hit our Librem of Justice, so that we can set up a board clear. But um, I mean, Tyrion is fine on eight, but ugh, just don't think we have a lot of great plays next turn. Eight man is a little weird too, with like five and four drops we might want to play together. Vengeance! Uh, bronze, silver, gold ladder is April 1st. No secret rogue today. We have a stealth rogue lined up though. People chose stealth over secret for whatever reason. Chat decided. Shaman? Well, we looked at Shaman and it just didn't seem to have a lot of great build arounds and stuff to do. Exciting things. It's kind of like, well, what do we do with Shaman? I don't know. Libra of Justice, please. Ugh. Man. I feel like I really, really need Libram to start contesting this stuff. Uh, Consecration's like kind of good. It clears all this stuff. I could either hit face for seven or chip down the Murgurgle. He could have an inner fire in this list. So there is a big part of me that wants to consider that. I could even hit it for 11 as well with Blessing of Kings, which does feel pretty good, I guess. I just lose the Consecration um Libram of Justice, but I do not really lose it because I I have Just in case there's an inner fire chat. I don't know if there's or not. Probably not to be honest, but just in case. Um 
I do still have another Consecration naturally in the deck as well, so it's not like it's totally gone from our world. <clears throat> wow. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> that is garbage. Um, Libram of Hope is really not ideal against this Natalie Celine here. I think we gotta wait on it. I don't think it's good enough yet. Don't have a great turn in the meantime is the problem. I'm going to throw the that took 100 years to load up. Uh, uh, Dragon Queen's too tough for us to assure, so let's just go Amber Watchers so that we have flexible healing if he hits me in the face really hard this turn or soon. We can heal 16 in one turn and hopefully start to recover. Plus, Lemur of Hope is really cheap now too, so um, that gives us a lot of sustain potential as well. Grave Rune. Those come back as eight ones though. That's not, oh. Well, they come back as a lot of eight ones, wow. I guess. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's still pretty annoying, I guess. <laughs> it's like a lot of eight ones in there. Um, okay. And just, you know, a couple, a couple eight nines or nine elevens or whatever. It's not easy either. either. Um, where is our Libram of Justice chat? God, we need it so bad. Bronze Explorer, okay. I mean, this does contest these reasonably well on board, to be honest. I think I just missed some health, maybe. I think I am I think I just missed one health, didn't I? Maybe, but we had to see the card first. I wasn't sure we were going to do that. There were cards we maybe played instead. As Avia's draw drawing is done. Next time it'll be Libram, probably. Envoy of Lazul, okay. This might be hard to guess, honestly. Um, I don't know if that's going to be an obvious guess. Uh, hey, sly, sneaky seal. Thanks for the sub, man. I wonder. I just don't know how we turn the corner on this chat. I'm going to need another consecration to deal with all the... <coughs> 8-1 Natalie Celines that pop out of here, man. There's going to be so many 8-1s. Four 8-1s. Chat, there's no giveaway. He whiffed on the Envoy. Yeah, I told you, it might be tough. We have sort of a weird deck for that. Oh, a Libram boy here. So a lot of 8-1s. Give me that Consecration, please, God. Please, God. Please, God. I actually need two consecrations because now this one is also... Well, I can't even kill it if I get it now. Oh, crap, chat. <clears throat> We're so stranded, man. It's just such an awkward board. Where are my consecrations? I can get um, the idiot dragon off this. I'm going to try because I don't really have any good plays anyway. I'm going to try to get the idiot scorcher off this, right? Is scorcher still in the game or did it rotate? Is scorcher... Now that I say that, Scorcher might just be a part of Rosticon's Rumble. What 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 expansion is Dragon Ball Scorcher from? Chat, I don't know. What expansion is it from? It was Rosticon. That's what I thought. So we can't get Scorchers anymore. There are no more Scorchers, chat. They have rotated. The Scorchers are dead. How much damage? 18, 26, 30, 32. So I'm kind of dead here, really. Since I went for this line. Now I don't have any outs. A simple spell. I think we're just dead now. Um, this could maybe actually keep me alive if I get the right stuff. That's that's actually the right stuff, but he can hit the 2-2 two -two in. Yeah, we're dead. Unless he trades wrong. But I'm sure Kalinto, of all people, will not make the mistake of attacking with an 8-1 first. Right, chat? I'm pretty sure he'll attack with a 2-2 two -two first in every case. Eye for an eye, well, wouldn't help, but you don't have enough. Yeah, Kalinto, not dumb enough to fall for these these simple tricks. <laughs> so he has 30. We could have gone for the Tyrion, and we would have technically lived through the turn. I just didn't think it really set us up to win. But definitely looking for a Dragon Ball Scorcher is not the right play. We can confirm that. We, we, know, we know Dragon Ball Scorcher is not the line. I'll tell you that. 
so many people underestimate the the YouTube reach that most of them don't. I mean, I have a hundred thousand people a day who watch me, you know, and they never show up on Twitch. So when they get here, it's like, oh my god, yeah, thanks for showing up, guys. Which I'm sure most of you are like, oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> He's talking about me right now. Hey, Regis, that's me. You're like, yeah, I understand what he means. I can't post on YouTube every day because I don't want to, like, overwhelm it, you know, but still. Mom, he's talking about me. <laughs> it's me, Mom. <laughs> uh, we do have a Beast Hunter deck today, yeah. We'll probably play one or two more of this one. And then we're going to move over to... Next up, I have uh, Rogue. Stealth Rogue on the list. want to try some Stealth Rogue. Okay, Mr. Crip Arino. Crip dropping a loot hoarder. Must be some kind of death rattle build, right, chat? Crip's like, oh, wow, look, new cards. He's got Skyclaw. But then again, Crip's playing a, <laughs> like a six-year-old card here. So, yeah, maybe not. Crip is ranked 21. What has he been playing? Good God. And has it been like insanely fast? My goodness, dude. Uh, probably just an explosive trap, right? Yep. Let's go ahead and use this weapon charge just because we have a lot of weapons in this deck. Uh, with, both with these, uh, the, the uh, Libram of Justice, Tyrion. We have like five total weapons in the deck. So I want to make sure we're moving through these at a fairly acceptable pace. So Aldor coming down on five feels pretty good. Lee Room of Hope will be seven mana at that stage, so we won't be able to play it on curve, but still. Still working out. I may hold the weapon charge here because we don't get any healing off of it. Last turn we at least got some healing. Okay, well having both of those in hand feels pretty exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Next turn we can get by with a hand of a doll bronze explorer. If we draw a um uh Lee Room discount, we'll probably play that too, or alternatively to Bronze Explorer, I suppose. Okay. No giveaways right now. Soon. Soon. Tracking. Okay. A lot of setup here. Is this going to be OTK B stuff or just, just B stuff, chat? What, what's the, what's the punish here? Yeah, we play Demon Hunter a lot already, chat. Just a desert spear. That sure doesn't feel super strong, does it? Kings. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Gonna hold the attack again, because we're probably doing this next turn. Hopefully not a super efficient way to answer this, right? Because if, if not, we just have 14 plus 2 is 16. We just have lethal. We don't even need our Librams in that case. Oh, well, there's your super efficient way to answer it. Thankfully, though, the taunt forces Crypt to take 10, and we just have lethal. Oh, my God. The taunt coming in clutch. Good Lord. Okay. Um, I, I think Crypt's deck was maybe just a little too slow for us there. I don't know, man. 